Alright, I think you can hear it beeping in the background. What happened is I turned on my system and I had a USB in this port and that USB drive had a .exe file on it. When, it, when you turn it on, that file's in there. When it does, this thinks you want to update the software. So it jumps out into that file. Well, the file had nothing to do with this. And so unfortunately, it corrupted the file. And so it's kind of locked up. You can hear it beeping. So what I have to do is go back to my computer. And I have on that computer the updated correct file for this. So I'll put it on a blank flash drive. Insert it in here. Turn it back on. Reboot it. And that will initialize this. So one of the things you want to make sure you do, I guess I'll be a parent in this case, don't do what I do, do what I say. That is, when you start this up, don't have anything plugged in here that might have a .exe file on it, executable file. So if you do that, then you'll be okay. Otherwise, you'll do this. You're beeping. That's time ticking away while I shut everything down and go back and update this file. I loaded the executable files. They're actually hex files that are on this flash drive. You hear it beeping? And it's loading those back in so it'll work properly. It'll go to the calibration screen next. So it's loading up and then I'll start it again when the calibration screen starts. It's supposed to take about two minutes to load. All right, it's loaded. You see performing touch screen calibration, touch the screen to continue. So you use a pencil for this and then you just touch the spots. And there it is. And that happens if you have the wrong flash drive in there. And that's what I did. I put the wrong flash drive in and Boom, it wouldn't do anything, it went blank. So that's one thing you can do to fix it. One parting comment. One of the easy ways to prevent this going, screen going black on you is when you're done and shut it off like this is, simply remove this before you turn it on. Then it won't be out here looking for new software to install. That'll save you rebooting the software or simply you can leave it in if you don't have any executable files in it. That's it. Good luck.